Hi everyone! In this video we will be showing you the new next-gen UI available in Digital Factory V11. This new interface has improved visuals as well as new and improved functionality. Streamline your workflow with the next-gen UI, allowing you to maintain more control of your print jobs with the improved functionality. To enable the next-gen UI, click on the View menu at the top, go to UI mode, and select next-gen. In order for the mode to take effect, you must relaunch Digital Factory. Once you relaunch Digital Factory, you will immediately see the change and improvement to the overall look and feel of Digital Factory. The UI starts in the dark theme, but if you go to the view menu again, and this time go to select theme, you will see an option for the light theme. Once selected, Digital Factory must be restarted. For this UI tour, we will be in the dark theme. One of the first things to notice are the improved icons displayed in the toolbar at the top. A more efficient process renders the icon images to screen, delivering a smoother and refined graphic. By right-clicking on the toolbar above, you can choose which icons to display on the toolbar. Groups can now be created using the plus icon at the end of the tabs list. Simply drag a queue to a tab to add it to the desired group tab. When the mouse hovers over a queue tab, the info window has been updated to show icons representing the devices used and ports where they are located. Both the queue and group tabs can be dragged right or left to reorder their position in the window. Right-clicking on the column headers will allow you to toggle visibility of specific columns on and off. The colored circle showing the running or stopped status of the queue has been replaced with a play and pause icon. When clicked, it will toggle between start and stop states. There is an icon located at the top right of the queue window that when clicked opens a settings menu which allows the user to change the height of each list item. The job previews on the left have been improved and will scale when the height of the list item is increased or decreased. From this window, the user can also sync the job list item height as well as the column sizes with the item height and column size of the reserve job list. The total number of jobs and how many are being processed in the queue can be found on the left of the title bar. You can also click on the column header to sort the list by that column. When you roll over a job, you will have a smaller window pop open showing a preview using the new image scaling, which again significantly improves the preview quality. All the same data as seen in the earlier versions is present, but the layout is much more consistent and data will be easier to find. Most queue import settings have been moved to a pop-up accessible from either right-clicking the queue tab of the queue you want to change or pressing the ellipsis or three dots icon on the tab. This will now display all printer options instead of the first four. The layout menu allows you to hide and show any of the panes in the interface, right down to only having the job list on screen. The panes can be resized and repositioned by clicking and dragging the bars between each pane. If you right click on the bars, you have the options to rotate or swap the two panes the bars lie between. The icons in the preview control bar to the right above the preview window have been updated. The print and cut preview combo box has been replaced with two toggle buttons, one to show the print preview and the other to show the cut line preview. There are new tooltips that support a description area when you hover over an icon. The preview settings icon on the right allows the user to quickly change the preview to single page mode for fixed sheet media. The two fit zoom option in the zoom level dropdown will accurately fit the single page to the window. By default, the mouse wheel will scroll the view up and down the preview panel. The wheel can be used to zoom as well. By holding the control key, the view will zoom in and out. You can switch this functionality permanently in the preview settings found here with the gear icon on the top right. Here you can set the option to use the mouse wheel to zoom. Now, when you hold the control key when using the mouse wheel, the view will scroll. The left ruler now resets to zero at the top of every separate page for sheet fed printers. The ruler does not reset when roll media is being used. The measurement continuously increases as jobs are added to the roll. The smart bar has many improvements in the next gen UI. The new smart bar consists of multiple control groupings called cards. These replace the scattered control layout of the legacy UI with streamlined and organized grouped settings. The new icons are significantly larger and easier to read, and there are larger and clearer tool tips for each control. The new next gen UI has been redesigned to help streamline your workflow as well as introduce changes in the UI to make navigation faster and easier. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, hit the like button. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us at any time and don't forget to subscribe for more videos covering digital factory products.
Thank you.